What's new in Digital Performer 8? Well, a whole bunch of things. And one of the things that really sticks out is the addition of 64-bit support. Now, what does this do for a musician or composer or audio engineer? It does a lot. 64-bit audio units, VSTs, and MAS plugins can take advantage of the resources that are within your computer system. This means that your sessions will run more efficiently. And if you have VST instruments, or any instrument that's written to support 64-bit, well, now you have more access to RAM resources. How does this help you? Well, if you have more access to the RAM, that means that you can have larger samples played back through your virtual instruments. So this means that your sounds will be more complex, and basically your music's going to sound better. Thanks, guys at Motu. This really, really helps. Now, I'm going to illustrate one of the things you may run into as a result of this change. So let's load up this sample session so I can demonstrate what you might be missing now. Well, the GUI has changed somewhat. Let's take a look at some other areas here. Let's take a look at the Mixing Board tab. And let's see what happens to our plugins. Ah, well, there are a whole bunch of plugins that aren't there. And that's probably because those plugins were written in 32-bit mode. Now, before you get sad and upset and want to just spontaneously combust or something crazy like that, don't worry, we have a solution for you. We can relaunch Digital Performer in 32-bit mode. So let's just close DP, and let's go to the Applications folder, and press Command-I on Digital Performer 8, and there it is, open in 32-bit mode. So all we need to do is check that, and now open Digital Performer. And now Digital Performer opens up in 32-bit mode. So depending on what your needs are, if you need to use a whole bunch of software synths or you want to take advantage of the efficiency of a 64-bit Digital Performer, go ahead and open it up as it naturally stands in its DP8 form. Otherwise, if you need it in 32-bit, you have that option.